Hello, I'm Anne Davis, founder of Fashan, Fashion Designers of the Future Awards. Our mission is to reach out a helping hand to the next generation and connect them with industry to the benefit of both. It's all our responsibilities to give back, and in so doing, we can also help champion diversity, sustainability, and inclusion, all pillars of the Fashan movement. On top of that, an evening of excellence, showcasing our students and indeed our sponsors and a great night for everyone. Of course, none of us expected COVID, but with our extensive television experience, we were able to immediately transfer our awards online. And this year, well, the entries are better than ever. What has been a really, really tough year for most students and also the industry as a whole um, has really been a challenging one for them. And I think you can see in a lot of the work how these um, this year has really affected their starting point and their creative um, references. Sustainability, inclusivity, um, this idea of sheltering and protectiveness or even escapism has really been high on the list. And it's been interesting to see how everybody's executed these um, and found really creative ways of still uh, shining and showing us their, their work. So the presentation of students' work um, was really outstanding. I thought the videos that were submitted and the way that they'd been edited and how they added clarity to everybody's story was really strong. And I thought that particularly applied to everybody actually. And the 2D work similarly was really um, complementary to the storytelling, was very clear um, and really put across everybody's moods and concepts in their own way. It's all very personal, but of a very high standard. Adelina Golding um, started with her idea around protective wear um, and used that in a constructive and creative way. Um, I really liked the way that she'd executed that with the colour and the print work that she'd done. Um, and this led to a really strong um, statement of a one-off piece, um, which she used in her presentation video, which had a lot of impact. Kerris Jones, um, her collection was built around an environmental statement, but I really thought it had a lot of new twist and looked very youthful. I love the colour use here um, and also the prints and the way that they interacted and blended within the outfits um, to create new and other outfits it had a really strong identity uh, and a really strong message. Kennedy Beniston, uh, sustainability was um, her focus, but again, it had a real modernity to it. Um, I liked the idea of focusing in on one particular um, garment and then building a wardrobe around that, um, giving us lots of different looks, um, but without with sustainability in mind um, and without a lot of need for a lot of new items. So that again, that came across really well. So excited to announce the Women's Wear winner is Parasto Calandri from University of Derby. Her work had lots of rich, um, authentic starting points, both um, in a heritage and textile way, but also in a personal way. And that storytelling continued throughout. I thought the 2D work and the sketches were really fun, but also had a lot of um, constructive clarity to them, had a lot of detail. The use of colour and pattern was amazing and particularly loved the um, crafted elements and the textiles and the element of embroidery and knitting in there and yet it all seemed very modern and quite fresh and had a nice energy and also a, um, a little bit of fun um, and I think that's why this collection in particular stayed with me. It was such a high standard but this one whenever I went back to it um, I saw something unique and different every time I looked at it. Um, and the overall collection and the final sketches 
yeah, really nailed it. I thought it looked really strong. I'm very delighted to receive the award. This award has boosted my confidence in doing what I love and focusing on subjects and topics that are very close to my heart. Looking forward to starting my master's in Kingston University in the coming month. Thank you so much.